G'day Westy here again. Okay, this is a quick tutorial on EP. So, basically, what it does is it protects the EEPROM from being overwritten when you're upgrading your actual Flash firmware, which is great because when they come out with a new addition with new improvements or they've repaired bugs and things like that, you don't have to reload your EEPROM and configure all, or, or if you haven't backed it up, reconfigure all your um, model settings and uh, yeah, user settings and stuff like that, like pilot name and your voltage calibration, all that sort of stuff, and your stick calibration and everything. Okay, so what we'll do is you click on the button, set fuses, brings up a button, a little box, says the following action will protect the EEPROM from being deleted when flashing new firmware. Before continuing, make sure that your radio is connected and program per works reliably. Do not disconnect or power down until the program completes. Click OK to continue. Okay, so we'll click OK. Brings up with this box here. And it just restarts the ER9X. And we'll see if, yep, still got my simulator in, um, my programs in there. And my three models that I've got set up. Okay, so let's see if it works. We'll close down this and we'll flash it with an old version of ER9X, which is an old R690 I've got here. We'll reflash that and we'll see if it sticks. With the Because normally when you reflash the flashware, uh, the flash file, it normally comes back uh, saying bad EEPROM and you've got to uh, reformat it. So it wipes it. So this way, it actually keeps it intact. So you can upgrade your firm, your uh, flash firmware as you go. Okay. Yep, it's still got my Westie in there. So that looks like it has stuck. And yep, we've got all the three models. Okay. So you can also unset that as well. So if you go to burn, reset fuses to factory defaults. Uh, same thing. Okay, so that's got to reformat that, and it'll be all back to stock standard stuff. So yeah, there's nothing set up there, so there'll be no, oh, except for my screen that I that I put into the flash firmware. Um, but yeah, none none of the stuffs there. All the um, calibrations are out because you can see my sticks are ones to the right and ones to the ones at the right bottom and ones at the right top you know so when I move the stick down it takes ages to pick up yep so so yeah so that's so basically all I've got to do is you don't want to set that before you you don't want to set the fuse before you've loaded your um, your actual configurations on so I'm going to put it on there now I'm going to write uh, an EEPROM file to the TX so I want to find my pre-configured ones. This one here, on the 14th of Feb 2012. Yep, we want to write that. So once that's written, I'm going to actually lock that. And that means I'll be able to upgrade my flash and uh, not have to worry about reloading the settings. So the guys that built this stuff, uh, <laughs> awesome man. Good work, good work. Keep it up, e and team. Right, I'll, re I'll reset this. Let's reset the fuses.
Okay, that's done. Check to see if more models are there. Yep, all three models are there. Awesome. Great job. And we'll just check the calibration. Yep, all my calibration settings have stuck. See, it's in the middle now. So that's central on the left throttle stick. And this one here is in the centre as well. Cool. Great job, guys.